Hey, what is up my dudes? I'm Ariel. If you know me, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Today, I'm pretty excited. I will be unboxing some stuff I got from Japan. And let me just give you a little explanation before I get into it. So I've gotten stuff from Japan a total of four times. Two of them I made videos about. One of them I did not make a video about because it never arrived. I ordered stuff on Japanese Mercari, the Japanese Mercari website is where I got everything that I'll show you. I didn't mention it in my last video because I never got the stuff I ordered that one time and I didn't really want to promote on my channel something I can't fully really trust or like put my name behind because I would hate for one of you to like see a video and see that I ordered stuff from there and have gotten it two of the times and think like oh it's 100% trusted and safe but I know some of you were kind of upset that I didn't say where I got it from which is understandable so yes everything is from Japanese Mercari. Please keep in mind I ordered a lot more stuff than I will be unboxing today and it never came. That was like eight months ago. Didn't get my money back. Never came. Whatever. It's fine. I just wanted to let you know in case you were thinking of ordering from there. Keep that in mind. Yes, yes. So I've been refraining from ordering stuff from there since that but I still like to look sometimes and I ended up finding a piece that I wanted for so long that I had saved on my Pinterest board from like two years ago. So I was like like I either get this now or I never get it and it turned into a haul so I will be unboxing said haul today. Really excited to show you what I got. No offense to my other videos but this is probably some of the best stuff I've ever gotten. I don't know the prices of everything because you have to pay for the item and the shipping separately and it ends up being a lot more expensive than the price that's listed but I can try to give you an idea of some stuff that I like remember but just know I'm not recommending this like I'm not recommending it. I really just wanted this one piece and I was willing to take a risk but if you are really concerned about not getting your package or losing your money which who isn't you know but if you're not ready to take the risk or like be okay with the idea that maybe you will never see this stuff then yeah just make sure you're okay with that beforehand because I was very sad for a long time when I realized that my package was probably not gonna come and that's okay but on a lighter note let's get into the video and unbox this package so it's all packed together in a box like this and I'm going to just open her up and then show you the pieces individually one by one I'm not too sure how it'll be packaged but we shall see so this is what it's looking like. I see the first thing I was really excited for, but let me just take everything out of this box. This is everything I got. I'm gonna go through it one by one, show you the pieces, and I'll try them on. It'll be like side by side so you can see that. I can also style these in another video if you'd be down to see that. I would add it into this video, but I feel like it will already be too long. So first, this was one of two items that convinced me to take the risk. I saw this and I was like, nah, I will never find this again. So I have to buy it now and just take the risk. And luckily it's here. You might be able to tell what it is before I even open it, but ah, it's so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's in like such good condition as well. Online, it said that the condition was poor to good, but this is like perfect condition. So this is a Wild and Lethal Trash, WNLT, Walter Van Buren Doc, Puck Puck, all over print, short sleeve top. Ah, uh, that was a mouthful. I'm not sure the exact name of this specific design. It has Puck Puck on here and it's almost like a kaleidoscope type thing. And it's on the back as well. There's this little eye design in the center. It's so beautiful. It is literally so beautiful. I've wanted some Walter Van Buren Doc pieces for so long, but I can't afford it. I simply cannot. This shirt was expensive, not gonna lie, but this was like out of my reach, but attainable, you know? I think it's a good investment personally. I know that this will only like gain value but I never plan on selling it like I will never let go of this it looks like it'll fit well it's just so cute it is so cute favorite thing ever and it's in great condition like what more could I ask for here's a tag if you want to see very cool and poggers okay next everything else is kind of just stuff I added on because it only makes sense to just get some more stuff if I'm gonna ship it all the way from Japan so next I got this little tea it's vintage juice couture vintage i don't know people roast me for saying things that are like vintage when it's like not specifically like the 20 year date like i don't really 
but okay. But it's just this Juicy Couture, early 2000s, whatever. And it says, I'd rather have Juicy on my ass. So cute. I saw this and I was like, yeah, I have to get it. Cause growing up, I always wanted the Juicy Couture tracksuits with like Juicy across the butt, but my mom was not having it. One, because Juicy Couture was really expensive back in the day, and I guess still is, but having letters on the butt of any pants was deemed as like so provocative to my mom. She was not having it, but now I have my own autonomy and I can let the world know that I'd rather have Juicy on my ass, period. Next up. I just got this little mesh printed tee, just a mesh top see-through and it has three quarter sleeves and some lettuce trim it's an abstract print i think it's quite cute pretty easy to style if you are a regular here you know how much i love mesh tops i probably have too many but we'll pretend like that is uh, not true. So um, I got this one to add to my growing collection. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the abstract print. It gives me very Paloma wool. I also like that any of these colors I could wear on the bottom as a pant or a skirt or whatever and I think that would be so cool and fun and cute. So that's this top. Okay, next up, I am really interested to see how this is in person because online, I wasn't really sure, but I was like, it looks cool, so I'll get it and we'll just see. But hopefully it's nice and I could wear it the way I was thinking about wearing it. So I got this kind of knit thing. I believe it's a dress, but I don't really know, bruh. I just love the open knit. If you could see, there are like little holes in it. I believe that this is 100% mohair. At least that's what it said on the listing. And the colors are super beautiful. They all go really well together. And then the bottom, the bottom is why I really bought it. It's completely open, almost like a fishnet type thing. Just a very open crochet or knit. I'm not really sure. I I guess you could wear it as a dress but i had an idea of layering it and then you could see this cool knit on the bottom peeking out like over jeans or something or a skirt i don't know i think i'm gonna have my fun with this i know that pieces like this are becoming increasingly trendy i guess or like common on archive fashion pages and a lot of people who make their own knitwear on depop and stuff so i thought that was very cool and i had to pick it up next oh okay i can kind of see what it is through the bag they gave me a nice little dust bag, which I appreciate. I just got this Vivian Westwood top. It's three quarter sleeves and it has somewhat of like a corset type cut. It's just the Vivian Westwood red label, which I don't think is like the high, high end stuff. It has this kind of abstract print, some swirls, some dots, and then the embroidered orb logo on the center. I think it's very beautiful. I love the colors and the print. That's mainly why I got it. And like the swirl bullseye design in red i think it's so pretty hopefully it will fit me as i was hoping it would fit me because i think that if it's too big it won't really give what it's supposed to be giving but it's stretchy material so my fingers are crossed and we will see in the try on but really nice also it's in great condition so that is also a plus okay i was kind of holding off on opening the next thing that made me start this haul and like order stuff but i can't wait any longer i have to open it i am so excited but I'm, I'm keeping it calm and contained, okay? I'm literally losing my mind right now. I got this Jean-Paul Gaultier zip up hoodie. Ah, it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's a zip up hoodie with a cutout like in the bust area would be great if I had Yiddies. And it has a double zip as well, which is just so beautiful cool like ah. and then the cutout has a jean paul gautier on here in like orange red and it has a hood like and this is like a grail of mine. Two years ago, I went and I dug through my Pinterest. I saved this exact sweater in the green and black color, I think, two years ago. But it was kind of just one of those things where I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Like maybe one day when I am a doctor and can afford to get Gautier, I will be able to get this. And then I found it for $80. So yeah, I had to get it. Also, the sleeves are flared. Like, come on. So this is the first thing I got and then everything else kind of came after because I was like, if I'm gonna get stuff, I should just get stuff, you know? So yeah, so excited to try this on. So excited to style this. This is gonna be one of those things where it's like everyone who knows me will have seen me in this sweater. 
never giving this up never parting ways with it live laugh love it come on come on stop i can't okay next I got this little baby tee, except it's not really a baby tee, I guess. I guess it'll just fit like a regular tee. It has some plaid designs, has an anarchy symbol. I think it's supposed to be like punk themed. It looks like it's from the early 2000s, but I'm not really sure. But I think it's so hard. With docks, it would be cool with like a plaid pant. Yeah, I think so. And also, it sticks out in my head that it was very cheap. That's why I got it. I think it was like 6 or $7. Plus shipping, of course, but very cool, very unique top. I haven't even seen anything like this on Depop or anything. And if I did, I'm sure it would be $50 plus, which I feel like honestly is warranted because this is so beautiful, but girl i do not have 50 dollars to drop on that top it's very vivian westwood like british punk type stuff maybe i missed the mark with that reference but i think so next I got this little baby tee i'm glad that i'm finally opening these because summer has been summering and i really need more tees i can throw on like this one and the last one so yeah it's just this baby tee with a little spiral it looks like a fish bone i'm not really sure if anyone knows what this design is let me know but i like that it has the two tones of green this would be so good with the jowned vans which i still haven't gotten my hands on but i'm speaking it into existence one day i will own the green jowned vans and i will wear them with this top i don't know very simple very cute it looks a little boxy but honestly i say that every time i'm doing an unboxing and then i try it on it's like oh no it actually fits you're just an idiot so yeah next okay if i had to say top three of this haul this would probably be number three behind the van beeren doc t and then the godier but let me open it first before i get ahead of myself it's this short sleeve hoodie love short sleeve hoodies it's thermal material love thermal material and it's an all over print y'all know how i feel about all over prints come on come on like it is giving also with like these arm warmers yeah i think so also you can layer it with a long sleeve underneath i don't know i've been trying to experiment with different cuts because i feel like it's always baby tee cardigan that's it, that's all I wear. So different kind of cut of shirt. I think it'll be cute. Love the all over print. It has all of the angel blue characters on here. I don't know their names. I don't know if they have names. I know the hysteric glamour characters have names, but I don't know if they named the angel blue ones, but if anyone knows their names, let me know. But I have a vision of this with like a big headphone, you know, arm warmers, a cargo pant yeah it's giving i think i need to stop saying it's giving like everything is it's giving it's giving it is giving to be fair but like you get it oh okay very curious to see how big this is and also how it will fit but it is a tank top the brand is pygmies i think that's how you pronounce it i thought it was so cool that it had a little cutout here on the chest that looks almost like a target type symbol i don't know that's just what it reminds me of and then on the back it has some holes with grommets around them i thought it was very cool very unique i was about to say it looks big but we'll see we'll see in the try on the thing about tank tops though is that if if it's not fitting tight like how those ribbed plain white tank tops fit i feel like it looks weird on me but we will see okay next this might seem like kind of a random thing but i was really looking forward to them and i'm really hoping they fit they are a pair of Stussy beach pants, I believe they're called, but they basically are cut like a carpenter pant. They're really soft, kind of cottony material, seem really nice, like a good fit. I know that, oh my gosh, I just realized that they have a double knee. That's hard. I want double knee pants really badly. I don't own a pair. So that's a cool random plus. I know Stussy, I can depend on their quality. Best quality ever. Love some of their stuff. Most of their stuff really. So yeah, I thought I would pick up these pants. They are a woman's pant and I think that they were from maybe last summer, but they're pretty recent. I found the original pictures on the website, but it's all sold out. And they were $12 and then the shipping and everything, but still a very good pickup for sure. Next up. 
I just got this knit space dye type shirt. This, I will say with my chest, this was an impulse buy. I was looking for a lot of summer knits. So I was like, this is a summer knit. Maybe I should get it. But I did also think that it would probably be too big on me, which is true. But I don't know, I think it's cute. It will definitely be comfy. I could probably wear it like to the beach or something or like as a throwover. I could maybe even wear it off the shoulder or something like that. It's not really heavy, which I appreciate. It's a very light knit. It's open. The colors are cute, but not too sure how I'll style them with other pieces I have, but we'll see. Oh, okay. Low key forgot I got these. So I finally got a pair of bondage pants. I've been wanting trip bondage pants since I was in high school. So that's what, like five years now? I don't even know. But they are so expensive. They're really, really expensive. And I had had opportunities to get them in the past for like $60 or so. And I was like, no, that's too expensive. And now they're like a hundred plus. So I should have just gotten them before, but I didn't. But I found hopefully a good substitution. These are just some gray cargo type bondage pants they have some straps in the front straps in the back that like connect you can't really see it fully here but you'll see in the try on and there's this kind of ripstop material it's soft but i think it's probably nylon or something oh no it's literally just cotton and polyester but it has that like swishy type of material but it's soft and i think that they're really nice this is the type of thing i wear all the time this with a baby tee like that little spiral one i would wear all the time i think that these pants are so cool they add a lot to literally any outfit if i saw someone walking around wearing these i'd say wow i'd want to be their friend but they're too cool for me so really hope that i can be that to others stupid <laughs> and lastly which is also the last thing i ordered was just this little miss 60 top pretty simple pretty cute it has this kind of collar type thing on it not really sure how that will go but it's stretchy i think that this will be a very good fit on me i could wear it with whatever low-rise jeans i have i actually have a pair of Miss 60 jeans that I could wear them with. Very cute, very cute. It has a metallic logo, very nice, simple white top. And that is it for the haul. Wait, I'm back, I'm back. I decided to start trying things on, but I realized I forgot something. This Anna Sui baby tee, very cool and poggers. I am definitely building my Anna Sui collection and I'm very happy about it. I wear all my other Anna Sui tops all the time, but I love the monochrome of the orange, the different shades. And this girl on the back, so cool and poggers. Also, I really like the logo font and I think that the fit will be very good. My other Anna Sui top aren't really a baby tee fit. So yes, enjoy her a lot. And that's it for real for real. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed seeing some pieces that are a bit different from like stuff I'd find on Depop and stuff like that. I think I got some really amazing pieces and I'm really excited to wear them. But yes, that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. If you ever want to see me again so I don't get lost in the void of the algorithm, but if not, understandable. <laughs> hope you have a great day. Easier said than done, I know, but hopefully you can get there if you're not there already. Stay cool, stay good, stay healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next one. Laters!